knock out these little, we just clean it up a little bit and uh, we'll be ready to go right there. So do you, you like the way this mm -hmm. is going? What happens is, is what we got to do is, is we will get an e-file or, or somebody will bring in their own artwork and what we do is we turn it, whatever they bring in, we just got to take it, we clean it up a little bit to make the edges a little bit more defined uh, on the artwork itself and we place it on the computer and then we basically put it on acetate papers. These are the acetates. A couple of them here. And we turn them into that and then they go back to the back to the press and they're put on a screen. It's an inverted they invert them. Burn them on a screen and we turn around and then Add the white ink and the other colors and all that, and we end up with the final, final product, which is back in the back. Yeah. Here you go, bud. Here's your artwork. <coughs> My name's Alfredo. I'm the screen all right? Come on, buddy. Order, and it'll be something like this, okay? And this is another one for uh, Ira Bank, Ira Pay School. And uh, your order would be on a clipboard with this. It tells me where I have to place it on the screen, where it's gonna go on the shirt, okay? And then that means that tells me where I gotta place it on the screen, okay? How many pieces I'm gonna have, they're gonna be printing over there, and uh. And it's really important to know that uh, where it goes and uh, how many pieces, what color. That way I decide what kind of screen I put it on, what uh, mesh I put it on. The screen room is back here. This is a uh, dark room, screen room. We don't really have a real modern curtain here. Uh, what I do back here is I uh, I flow the screens. We have this emulsion. It's a blue. Um, uh, oh, I guess it's a real light sensitive emulsion. It's a, uh, a a coating that we put on the screens here. I flow it with a flow bar here. I'll fill the flow bar. And then I'll put it on there and I'll flow the screen, both sides, and then I'll put them up here to dry and uh, so that we can use them. Um, we have several meshes, it's really kind of complicated, but we have uh, a different mesh for different artwork and, uh, and uh, basically the finer the, the screen, the, the better the artwork comes out, but a basic thing like yours come out on just about anything. So we'll use a 156 mesh on that. And what are the 156 means that every square inch on this uh, screen will have 156 holes. It's like a screen, okay? A, a, a screen on a window and a door, okay? Every square inch will have 156 holes. <clears throat> we have 110 there, and we normally have 305 there. We have 86, uh, 83s, and so on and so forth. So anyhow, yours is gonna go on a 156, okay? Okay, now we'll come back out this way. Exact. If you, you have two pieces, 
so they got to match up, so they got to go in the same place. And, uh, and yours will be a full chest here. I have a left chest here, right chest, so on and so forth, different placements. I have a thing for hat screens here also. They will do hats. And, uh, and that's how uh, that I place them on there. Here, this machine is called the burn box. What it does, if you look down in here, See that little tube down there? That's a bulb. Uh, it just shoots out all kinds of uh, light. If you were to look at it when it's operating, it'll blind you. So you don't, well, that's how come this machine has a lot of safety features where that won't happen. As soon as I open this thing, it'll shut down, no matter what. And there are that safety features in there. Then what I'll do is just push it, this start button, and it'll burn. It takes approximately two, three minutes. Uh, to uh, burn what it calls, the light comes up and uh, cooks more or less all that emotion on there, except where there's black, where you have artwork. Okay, so uh, it'll it'll uh, it'll cook everything else except for that, and then I'll take it over there to the water tank. We'll. Uh, we have this water tank here. What happens here is we'll soak, we'll soak the screen, okay? And then when it comes up, we'll blow it out, okay? And anything that is black, that is darkened on that paper, will turn out like this. It'll blow that out. It wasn't cooked. It didn't get cooked, okay? So, uh, it didn't get burnt, cooked, I guess, for better terminology. And, uh, and you'll get this image, okay? And then this image here, the ink passes through there and goes on your t-shirt, and that's what creates your image, okay? And we have, uh, we have uh, things like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, this is a four color artwork, okay? And uh, it won't more or less come out looking like this, the whole thing, but different colors, okay? And that's how we create that by all those screens and uh, and to save a little time we've already got your screen set up okay to print so now I'll turn you over to Kevin and he's going to be printing it for you okay all right buddy come on over Kevin this is Kevin this is Kevin Russell he's a printer and uh, he'll take care of take care of you from here okay all right Dylan all right cool yeah, I guess you want me to get you one first? Yeah, probably. Alright. Okay, we'll go ahead and do one first, make sure it's alright for you. Right? Here, here. What we're gonna do is put it twice, that way it'll be nice and nice and heavy. That stuff is great, it's like a glue. Yeah, it helps stick to that. So 
awesome. Thanks, Dad. Welcome. I hope everything works out for you. Perfect. And for you too, buddy. 